Morning folks, it's going to be a, a cheap and cheerful Friday edition today. Yesterday I was given a tip on one of the comments for how to stick the lids onto the fermenters. And why I never came up with this solution, I don't know, because it's so simple. Nuts. Stainless steel. Weld them onto the top of the tank. Then when you've got your box section, this is what the box section is going to look like out of one inch box. Hole drilled through it exactly where these nuts are. Drop your threaded bar through, screw it into the nut. Not fouling the lid because it's such a low profile nut and easy to undo. And the way that this is set up, it's putting pressure on the extremity of the lid. So that will hold it down nicely. So what I'm going to do, I've cut this template and I just need to square it up. And the idea of the template is I can mark in the corners underneath where it pokes through and we'll set this nut exactly where it needs to be, sort of there, if you know what I mean. So when you lift it up, we know where it's got to live. And then when we come to cut the, uh, cut the box section, the nuts will all already be on there. So I'm going to weld them all on today. Just need four or five tacks around there so we don't deform or distort the nut but what a solution freaking genius um, I can't remember the name of the chap who uh, Kip Herring I think it was cheers bruv right I've had to bring all the welding kit out I've marked up exactly where all the bolts are going to go on top of the uh, fermenter and boil kettle etc so we've brought the argon bottle got the welder earths on there we're rigged up and we just have to climb up the ladder and everywhere we've got one of these little triangles in pencil just around there we're going to weld a nut on in order for the threaded bar to go into it Oh, I'm chuffed with that. Yes, sir, we'll have more of that. So all I have to do is pull all the tanks round to the welder on the trolley jack. It's easier than carting that big argon bottle across. And we'll do the same to all of them. This is a cracking idea. So if I just show you there what we've got, you can see just several tacks. It looks nice. It's easily... Hold on with the lights going. There we go. It's easily mounted and easily removed if it's in the wrong place. It's Friday. Now I'm not normally one to complain. Stop it. But last night I slept very little because of a combination of the heat and uh, the excitement for getting this ready. But I'm suffering today. 
I feel really tired. So, unfortunately the vlog may have suffered in that respect as well. I'm also hammering the paracetamol because I've got a little bit of a, a poorly finger, you can't really tell, but that's actually swollen up. Um, and it's giving me a bit of a old throbbage. So, let's have a quick rundown of what I've done while I've not picked up the camera. Again, I apologise, but we can go and see what has happened. So, first things first, they look a little bit better, don't they? So we've got M10 stainless steel nuts welded on to the tank, four in total, and we're going to have four bars run across and press down on the lids to seal them. They'll be sealed against this neoprene, that's heavy, against that neoprene gasket if you like, which I've put on all four five tanks. Hopefully that will allow the glue to set over the weekend uh, work whilst they don't get wet. You can see it on the HLT a little bit better here and also you can see the beautiful welding work given the tip of the rainbow there look some nice rainbow colours as I've just popped these nuts on so what I'm going to do is put a thread, threaded rod into there I might use a bolt actually and then I've got the hex on the top of the bolt to tighten into that and then I'll wind a, uh, a nut up the bolt as well so when I push it through the lid or through the bar I can use the hex head to wind into that and then I can wind the nut down to compress the bar and bring these, draw these together and if they get stuck in I'm not grabbing hold of any threads with mole grips I can just use the hex head to undo and release, I think it makes perfect sense. We've got the the lid on the boil kettle here. Again, put the neoprene on and also the nuts are on there. So, lovely little bit of access there. And I also popped one just here at the front. So what I'm thinking is I can wind something in there just to make a little close down attachment of some type. Something dead simple, I think is the way forwards. Uh, we've got all the water from the tanks in the cold liquor tank so we can see where at what's that 500 600 liters there it is I don't know if you can quite see that it's 600 liters about 160 gallons thereabouts so I'm pretty chuffed with that that's quite enough for me to be, uh, well, quite enough beer per batch, should I say, if we can indeed get that volume out of the mash tun. Right, Gemma's indicating to me that the children are ready to bugger off home. Chancy boy, you're ready, aren't you, kidder? Come on then, let's go home. The weekend is a calling. We'll see you tomorrow. My barbecue.